Mm. Okay, get it together. <coughs> <coughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my spring FabFitFun unboxing. So for those of you who are not aware, FabFitFun is a quarterly subscription service. You receive a new box every season and it's filled with makeup, beauty, fitness, and lifestyle items. Just before we get started into today's video, I just wanna apologize for how my voice sounds right now or how I think it sounds because I'm just getting over one of the worst colds I've ever had in my life. I'm still a little bit stuffed up and I still have a little bit of a cough. I'm gonna try and edit all of my sniffles and all of my coughs out of this video, but my voice still sounds really funny. So just excuse that part of this video. And also I don't have any wine today because I've been trying to get better. So I have my favorite Starbucks drink here. This is an iced green tea lemonade. And with my FabFitFun subscription, I recently upgraded to an annual subscriber, which means that I pay for all four boxes for the year up front, and then I get a little bit more of a variety of the choice items in the box. So in today's video, I'll be going through the items that I personally selected in this box, and what the other options would have been. So before we start the video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see future FabFitFun unboxings. So let's go ahead and get into the video. If you wanna see everything I got in my spring FabFitFun box, keep watching. All right, so this is what the box looks like this month. So it's a very pretty pink spring box. And of course, the first thing in the box is this FabFitFun magazine. This magazine usually has articles and stories featuring different people and also tells you how to use all of the items in your box. All right, so the first thing in the box is this Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. This is a hydrating moisturizer and I believe the brand Murad is a pretty good skincare brand. I haven't actually tried this brand out before, but this is how much product you get in the packaging. It says it's 50 milliliters, so that's a decent size. Um, I haven't actually tried this before, but I am always looking for great moisturizers. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand so I can see uh, what the texture is like. So I have about this much here. It, it does feel very like watery. It doesn't feel like it's too creamy. It's very emollient. It's settled into my skin like almost immediately. It's a really nice and soft feeling, so that's good. All right, and let's take a whiff. Okay, so <laughs> I don't love the smell. Yeah, it kind of smells like Play-Doh that's been sitting out for too long. I don't know, but it does feel really nice and luxurious on my skin, and I love the fact that it's really emollient and it's settled into my skin really quickly. That's what I need in a moisturizer, is something that's not gonna sit on top of my skin, but that's going to soak into my skin and give me the moisture that I need. So I'm definitely going to give this moisturizer a try. I'm almost out of the moisturizer that I've been using as part of my daytime skincare routine, and I feel like this moisturizer might go really well with my daytime skincare, so I'm gonna give this a shot and I'll let you guys know what I think. All right, so the next thing I see in the box here is a fitness item and this is a massage roller. By the way, none of the items in this box are a surprise to me and this is by no means a first impression. I always look at the FabFitFun box spoilers long before the box ever gets to me. So I always know absolutely everything that's gonna be in the box before it arrives at my door because I just, I can't help myself. I have to look at spoilers. Plus being an annual subscriber, I get the email really early about what the choice items in the box are. So I already knew about five of these items before it ever got to me. So I believe there was four different colors for the massage roller and I actually really like the color that I received. But for the massage roller itself, I tried it out and I actually felt like these spikes were a little bit painful. I already have a massage roller in my house for when I want to roll out my muscles when they're feeling a little bit stiff or really sore after a workout. And I tried this one out on myself and I also tried it out on my husband and both of us thought it was actually kind of painful. So I don't know that I'll be getting tons of use out of this, but I just thought it was a cool item that they included into the box. So the next item in the box is a lip statement palette and this is from the brand Ish. Ish stands for I'm Smoking Hot. And this lip statement palette was actually a collaboration with the YouTuber Alex Garza. I'm actually already subscribed to Alex. I love her channel so much. I think she's so gorgeous and I love her content. And she collaborated with FabFitFun and Ish Cosmetics to create this lip statement palette. Now, I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. It has so many gorgeous shades in it. So there's a row of nude colors, then there's a row of like the pinkish colors and then a row of statement colors. But I just don't think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this because I really don't wear lipstick. For me with lip products, I either go very, very simple with a gloss or I go full on liquid lipstick. I don't usually wear lipsticks or really anything in between. So while these are beautiful colors and I saw 
on Alex's channel. She used this lip statement palette and mixed a whole bunch of the colors together and got some really, really beautiful shades. I really don't think that I'm going to get much use out of this, so I'm probably going to throw it into my giveaway pile or give it to one of the girls at the dance studio who can probably get more use out of it. It's a really beautiful palette, but I don't think I'm going to be hanging on to it. So the next thing in the palette is this Dermalect Makeover Concealing Ridge Filler. So you just actually sweep this polish onto your nails and it gives you a little bit of a natural nail treatment or you can wear it as a base coat. For myself, I'm not going to be able to use this product because I have gels on. I have been a nail biter since I was three years old and it is a habit that I still have not kicked as a 34 year old woman. So the only thing that protects my nails from being chewed off by my horrible habit is a gel manicure. So I actually go every two weeks and get my nails filled. So I don't really have any use for polish or for nail treatments or cuticle treatments or anything like that. I get everything done at my esthetician and she does a fabulous job. So I'm not gonna be able to get any use out of this product. So it's probably gonna go into my giveaway pile, but I do think this is a good product that we got in the FabFitFun box. It says it's infused with keratin and it has moisture. So while I'm not gonna be able to use it, I do think this was a good product to get in the box. All right, so now moving on to the last non-choice item. These are all items that everybody received in their box. This is an eye mask and it's from Free People and Understated Leather. So I am a huge fan of Understated Leather. I think they have really great, nice, high quality products. They've actually put products into the FabFitFun box before. So I have a passport cover and a luggage tag from Understated Leather that I absolutely love. It's a rose gold passport cover. I take it everywhere I go when I travel and I really, really love the product. So when I saw that they were putting something into the FabFitFun box for this season, I was really excited. And when I look at the eye mask, it is actually really high quality. So there's some really nice leather on the outside and it's very soft on the other side. It is a really like good quality eye mask. And also on the inside, which I thought was really, really great, it actually has an insert that you can put into the fridge to turn it into a cooling mask. So this is on the inside of the eye mask and it's just like a gel insert. Put this in the fridge and then your eye mask turns into a cooling eye mask. So while I love eye masks, I love sleeping masks, I think this is a really amazing product, I am not going to be keeping it. And the reason why is because it is a collaboration with the brand Free People, which I do not support. Now to get real with you guys for a second, I don't go on crusades very often and I don't boycott brands very often. It really takes a lot to ruffle my feathers, but Free People is one of the brands that I absolutely will not support. I don't want anything from that brand in my house. I will Will not spend one single penny on free people and I'm not gonna keep this eye mask and it might seem really silly but the sole reason why I don't like free people is because of this photo right here now I'm just gonna leave this up on the screen for a minute just so that you can really soak it in like just soak in this photo and and just look at all the different aspects of this photo that are an absolute train wreck. So Free People came out with a line of sort of dance inspired fitness apparel. And this was a couple years back now and I've hated the brand ever since. This photo absolutely enrages me. And they also came out with a video that was connected to this campaign that also just made me so unbelievably mad. Now I am not a ballerina, obviously by any stretch of the word, but I have grown up loving and respecting this art form. And it absolutely enrages me that they put point shoes on this model instead of hiring a real dancer to model this dancewear for them. I think putting point shoes on people who haven't been trained in point is not only dangerous, but it's disrespectful to the art form of ballet. And it's disrespectful to the dancers who have trained their entire lives and put thousands and thousands of hours into their craft only for young girls to see photos like this in mainstream media. Like it's just horrific. Not stretched feet, bent supporting legs, shoulders up, horrible retire, like, this photo is just horrendous and there are so many beautiful dancers that they could have hired to show off this apparel. And I just think that they really disrespected the art form of ballet by showing this photo. Now it might seem silly, but I don't dig my heels in on very many things, but this thing really, really got under my skin. So I will not be keeping this eye mask. I don't want anything from free people and I'm gonna give it to somebody who can enjoy it a little bit more and who isn't bothered by the fact that free people makes horrible marketing decisions. All right. So so now moving on to the choice items in the box. The first item that I got a choice in was this Rachel Pally handbag. It comes in this nice dust cover 
And then when you open up the dust cover, the clutch inside looks like this. So this is an ivory clutch and it has sort of a yellow and mauve floral print down here. So I really think this is such a cute handbag for spring and the choice that I got was the actual color. So this one is white and yellow with mauve and the other choices were like a pink and teal and also an orange and red. So I chose this one because it was the most neutral. So one of the really cool things about this clutch is that it's actually reversible. So it's all like sort of cream colored on the outside there. But if you actually take it and flip it around, you can reverse it like this where like the cream color is on the inside and then the floral pattern is on the outside. So for me, I really like this clutch. It's a good size. It has a zipper on the top and it also has a pocket on the inside and it's a really good size. I think this would be perfect for like taking to the beach. You can put your phone, sunglasses and everything like that. I actually also might use it as a travel bag because it's really durable. I think it would be great for holding my makeup brushes or my makeup when I'm traveling. So I might use it for that, but this was a definite win for me. I definitely think I'm gonna be able to get some use out of this clutch. It does seem like it's really good quality and I think it's perfect for spring as a handbag so I like this I think it's super cute all right so the next choice item in the box was this candle and this is by Anderson Lily so what our choice was for this candle was the scent and I chose super bloom and that is a combination of basil tangerine leaf violet geranium lily of the valley jasmine rose rosewood and cashmere musk so I really like floral fresh scents so that's why I gravitated towards this one the candle smells really good and I really love this copper outside. It doesn't look cheap or anything like that. And I am a huge fan of candles. I have them all over the house and I'm such like a Bath and Body Works junkie when it comes to candles. So I was really excited to get this in the box and it smells amazing. I think it's really, really beautiful. And I also am excited for when this candle burns down. I think that this copper pot can be used for like succulents or as a pen holder or something like that. So I'm a fan of this candle. It smells great and I'm glad that we got it in the box. So the next item in the box was a choice item. So you got to choose either between a Cora's body butter or a set of five lip masks. Now I chose the lip masks because I have so much body butter and body lotion in my house. I go to Bath and Body Works all the time and buy their tubes of body lotion. So I'm totally set in that department. And I actually have seen these lip masks before and used them before. So I was excited to get another five of them. These lip masks are by KNC Beauty and they're collagen infused moisturizing lip masks. Um, I got three of them in a BoxyCharm box a couple of months ago and I actually really like this product and it really works. So I actually just used my last one last week because I was feeling really sick. And when my nose is all plugged up, I have to breathe through my mouth and my mouth gets really dry. My lips were super duper dry. So you take the lip mask out of the package it actually looks exactly like this and you just press it onto your lips and it really does help moisturize and soothe your lips and just like make them feel really soft and plump so I got another five of these in um, this little package here so I'm really really excited about this product in the box and I think this little holder is really cute too and then the last choice item in the box was a jewelry choice and I chose a bracelet by Maya Brenner Los Angeles. So the choice for the jewelry was actually between a pair of tassel earrings and this bracelet. Now I know that tassel earrings are a big trend these days but I just don't think that they would look good on me and I don't really gravitate towards them so I passed on that but I really, really love this bracelet. It is really dainty and gorgeous and it says love on it. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll insert a close up shot as well. And there was also a choice between a silver love bracelet and a rose gold love bracelet. I really love rose gold jewelry, so I chose the rose gold, but this is actually one of my favorite jewelry pieces that has ever been in a FabFitFun box. I tend to think the jewelry pieces in these boxes are sometimes a little bit cheap and they don't look super great, but this is actually such a gorgeous bracelet and I really, really love it. All right, so all in all, this box was about 50-50 for me for items that I'm gonna use versus items I'm not gonna be able to use. So the FabFitFun boxes cost $49.99 US a quarter, but by the time I pay shipping taxes, duties and exchange up to Canada, it ends up being about $72 a box. So it can sometimes be hit and miss if I think that the contents of the box are worth $72 Canadian because I don't always get tons of use out of everything that they put in the box. So just a really quick recap, I'm probably not gonna use this massage roller. 
I'm not going to get any use out of the nail polish, although I did think this was a good item. I'm definitely not keeping this eye mask by crappy free people. And although I really love this lip palette, I'm probably not going to get any use out of it either. But the items that I love in the box are this Anderson Lily candle, which I think smells amazing. The Murad moisturizer, which I'm going to give a try. The lip masks, which I think are an incredible product. Um, the bracelet, which I think is so cute. I love it so much. And the Rachel Pally handbag, which I definitely think is a great clutch for spring. So all in all, this season's box was a win for me. I do think that of the products that I do love in the box, they are worth the $72 Canadian that I paid. Let me know in the comments down below if you got a FabFitFun spring box, what you liked, what you didn't like, and if you thought the box was worth it. I'm definitely late to the party with these videos because being up in Canada, my FabFitFun box always gets to me way later than everybody in the US. So everyone who's filming FabFitFun unboxing videos has got them filmed and up like long before the box ever gets to my house. So I know I'm kind of late to the party with these videos, but please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want to see future FabFitFun unboxings on my channel. And as always guys, if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below letting me know the kind of videos you want to see me do in the future. And if you didn't like this video, keep that shit to yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.